I realize that I don't need to prove anything to anyone but myself. If I say that I will do something, I do it. If I say that I will get something, I get it. I get everything that I want because I am the creator. I have embodied strength, willpower, integrity, and honesty with the essence of my being. It's just gonna be like a diary session, I guess. I don't even know where to start. I was actually just working and then I decided to just wash before. Like wash my face and brush my teeth before I put a face mask on and jump into the bath. Um, but yeah, I just, I just wanted to talk. Like, just let out without interruptions, without help, without anything, just, just let out, you know, um, I went on a retreat type thing on Sunday, and when I was done with that, I just felt I just felt such a sense of relief in a way I never expected to feel. And then the following days I just felt so, so overwhelmed because I didn't know what I was letting go of. So in the retreat that I went to, at the end of our session, we had this stone that we had to write on and throw in water. And I was contemplating, should I keep the stone or should I just throw it? Because a lot of the ladies were keeping it. My mom that I was with at the retreat type thing, she um, she kept hers. And I, I wasn't sure, should I keep mine or what? Um, but then... I just closed my eyes and thought, what do I do? And I decided to let go of it. I felt like that process or whatever I, I heard on that day, I needed to let go of it. And I didn't know what I was letting go of. I just knew I was letting go of it. And I wrote pain on the rock, not knowing exactly what pain I was letting go of but I know there's a lot of pain within me that I need to let go of in order to completely heal and move forward in my life um, but yeah I don't pain on it and I don't know I just was super overwhelmed this entire week feeling weird feeling feeling just weird you know and it 
I think towards mid of this week, I decided, well, I think towards mid of this week, I think Wednesday or something, I thought of a conversation I had with um, this guy that I travel with and um, he asked if, if my father would greet me, would I greet him back? I don't know why that conversation came to mind, but it did. And um, I think that's one of the things that was overwhelming me is because I don't understand how to feel regarding this. It's like I'm grieving a human that's literally still alive. Like, there's a human out there that is supposed to be a very big part of my life but he's not and it's like it's like I lost a father and I am grieving him and the hardest part of grieving him is that he's not dead um, the reason why the conversation came to my mind was because it's like um, I know I made this I made this choice for myself to cut him off because I know what's good for myself like I went through so much trials trying to fix something that was already broken for over a decade of my life. I spent 10 years of my life fixing something I did not break. Fixing and helping a man that I did not damage. And trying to fix something with someone who doesn't have a sense of any emotional capacity for what he has done is difficult because it's like them I'm wasting my time trying to open your eyes to see that you've hurt me and to see that you're continuing to hurt me Um, I didn't really tell you guys much about what I've went through with my father, but I did tell you guys that I cut him off and I don't, I don't allow him access to my life in any way. And I chose to do that way before he even left my home like just over a month before my mom kicked him out I already cut him off so we were living in a home over a month together and we're not speaking and this wasn't the first time it has happened we have went like about a month or two not speaking before multiple times but this time felt a lot easier and I was a lot stronger in doing it because I felt like I was making the best choice for myself, you know, and um, <sighs> the reason why this conversation that I had about will I greet him is playing or has been playing on my mind since Wednesday and is such an, a weird way to like somehow like understand what I'm feeling is because it's like um, I chose this because I know it was best for me but he was still my father and as my father he should have still cared he should have still wanted me you know I feel avoidance of not being wanted by my own blood and yes, I shouldn't feel this avoidance and I shouldn't feel hurt by it because I made this choice for myself. I don't want to cry because I got a mask on when I'm crying. Um, 
I made this choice because it's like it's it's what was best for me because I knew he wouldn't get better I knew I wouldn't ever get over the abuse I had to endure from him but he was still my father he should have still tried as an elder as a man that's supposed to be that important to me he should have tried he should have wanted me as his daughter I'm not in pain or hurting or overwhelmed because I want that to change because I feel like it's best that it does not change I don't know what the future holds but for now I feel like it's best that it does not change because I I'm okay without him I am I'm, I'm not as broken as I was but it's just the thought that I wasn't chosen and I feel like I've never been chosen by him and I will never be chosen because that is the type of man that I am dealing with um, so Sunday I let go of that pain in a very weird way I did start the process of letting go of that pain and at the end of that session I said that I am transforming and I am letting go and that is exactly what this week has made me feel is that I am transforming, transforming so I am at a broken stage right now like feeling all the pain of everything so that I can eventually just let it go um, I think the reason why I wanted to share it with you guys is because I need to talk more to you guys and also it's it's easier to talk to a camera sometimes just to just to feel like I'm hurt you know but yeah um, I'm at this I'm at this point of my life and it's been over a year almost a year and six months of me cutting him off and yeah I'm I'm so grieving I'm so grieving and I think I always grieve but I'm I'm very I'm very good I'm very good I'm in a very good space but yeah thank you guys for watching this video I don't know if it had any conclusion I just thought I'd like take you guys on this journey of me transforming and letting go because I've got a lot of anger within me and it comes out in the worst of times so the anger is from all the pain I guess and I need to let it go because I don't deserve to have that ugly anger within me but yeah it's beautiful garden beautiful trees beautiful flowers I'm good. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please do like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope that I look good for you guys soon because I'm looking a little bit of a khala khala, you know? Like, khala khala. But <laughs> I love you guys so much. And I appreciate you, guys, appreciate you guys for being subscribed to my channel, watching my videos, and being a part of my life. I love you guys. I'm Money Makers. Bye.